today we'll be making an adorable curly Christmas deco mesh wreath. What you will need, I have a 14 inch wreath ring, 10 inch mesh. You can also make this wreath with 6 inch mesh if you choose to do so. Chanel stems, scissors, and a rotary cutter. Alright, let's get started. So I've cut my mesh into 8 inch long pieces and I've cut my stems into thirds. And what I prefer to do is make all of my bundles prior to placing it on the wreath because I feel like making all of the bundles first helps the process to go by a lot faster. So I'm just going to roll my mesh into a cute little curl. And I'm alternating the colors. It doesn't really matter, but what I like to do is since this is black edged on one side and white on the other, I kind of like to make sure I alternate. Again, it's not a big deal and you don't have to do so, but so I have black, white, black, and I've crossed all three pieces of mesh and I'm going to scrunch in the center, take my stem and twist it a couple of times and then flare it out. Again, it doesn't matter. You probably won't notice it that much once they're all together. So I'll show you again. And like I said, you can use the same method for six inch mesh. It works really well with that. So what I'm going to do is just roll all of my mesh, making sure I crisscross all of them, scrunch, take my stem and twist it a couple of times. And then you can adjust and maneuver it however you'd like. So I'm going to do this for all of my mesh and I, so I have three pieces of mesh in each bundle and three bundles in each of my six sections. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these bundles made and then we'll start placing them on our wreath. so I have all of my bundles made I'm going to start placing them on my wreath ring and I decided to go with the silver wreath ring just because I thought it'd be so cute but again if you want to spray paint it white you can do so or you can just stick with the original color so there are several ways you can place your bundles I'm just going to go with the original way I usually do it is outer inner outer and then inner outer inner and alternate all the way around the wreath so place it and twist a couple of times and then tuck it away. So the first was on the outer, then I'll go to the inner, back to the outer and all the way around the wreath. So I'm going to have three bundles in each section. You can definitely have more if you choose to do so. They look so cute and precious already. I'm going to get a couple of sections done and show you what it's looking like. I feel like this is a good starting point once you complete the wreath if you feel like you want to add more then you can always go back and do so okay so this is what two sections looking like so cute and poofy already okay so you can see it's alternating inner outer inner outer inner outer so i'm going to continue placing my bundles all the way around the ring So I have all of my bundles in place. It's so cute and poofy. Again, this is the 16 inch wreath ring. So you can definitely use the same amount of mesh probably for an 18 inch wreath ring if you choose to do so. But it's so cute and curly. 
You can finish it off like this. You can add in any additional embellishments. You can add ornaments, ribbons, bows, an adorable sign to the center. Whatever you prefer. Just have fun with it and make it your own. But it's so cute, simple, and easy to make. 